Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing a no contact check-in with your person. What's going on during the silence? Yes. Let's jump in guys. Let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my Aries this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and your connection. Yes doesn't happen with this reading you can check out your other sign positions i also did the extra wild card reading you could check that one out and see if i was able to pick up energy there spirit help us out strongest energy board for my aries deck is fighting strongest energy forward for my aries bring it in mm. Got someone coming in to the from the right behind me and from the right side. Usually that's an indication we've got masculine, not gender guys. It's just masculine active energy. Ooh. Let's find out uh, oh, their side of the story of what was going on in your connection when they look back. Oh, we're getting something. Ooh, temperance, discord, imbalance, go within, a need for balance. Mm -hmm. We were definitely out of balance and having to use patience with each other. What else? Magician, manipulation, lack of confidence, and poor communication was in the connection. Manipulations and poor communications. Lack of confidence on someone. Seven of Pentacles, ow, plan B. Seven of Pentacles is investing time and energy, but the frustration of feeling like it's not going to happen. Starting over, disappointment, and missed opportunity. What else? Star card, doubt, and pessimism about the future. Spiritual blocks when it comes to bonding with each other. So it's definitely in a friction energy. Hair pump. Got some earth energies coming up in here, guys. Uh, hasty and decisive of receiving bad advice. It's coming in under that magician card. Lack of communication about what we truly wanted or needed in the connection. We weren't in sync with each other on what we were needing and wanting each of us as an individual from the connection. Ooh, scapegoat, uh, ten of cups, energy dissatisfaction and not seeing the magic or your own magic wow plan b uh just with that is telling me from your person's perspective it's really hard to get in sync and ha we each had a different plan of what we thought would be a bliss perfect kind of relationship mm -hmm. i don't know how else to put it we each had a different Maybe something came out while I was talking. A different idea of what happiness and the bliss was. It, and it was trying to get each other to follow each other. No, let's do it my way. And you're like, no, I need this. That kind of thing. We weren't in sync with each other. And we definitely got a, a earth energy. I'm feeling a, a heavy, slow, um, sort of stubborn earth kind of energy if they're not an earth sign which would be what your taurus virgo or capricorn if they're not an earth sign that's just the energy and it may be a predominant energy somewhere in their birth chart let's see what fell out knight of swords restless impulsive and impatient that might have been us towards them or from their perspective that we you know he's just impatient about things Eight of Cups, Energy, Uncertainty, Ticking Clock, and Fear of Moving On. Coming in on the center here. Mm -hmm. The emotional dissatisfaction. And the, it'd be saying that either... You, I get a feeling they think you both felt like, you know, it was inevitable. You weren't going to make it because we couldn't come into sync with each other running out of time. And we've got an Empress energy, self-neglect, romantic issues, and creative blocked. Creativity blocked. Ooh, Empress energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. Romantic issues, yeah. The passion, the fire fizzled a little bit. The, 
the the wooing of each other. Uh, I'm not saying that the physical part of it, you know, the sex dwindled down because a lot of times we can be in that even when we're not feeling the romantic, passionate part of it, the love part of it. See what else is coming out. Six of Pentacles, suspicion, desperation, and feeling cheated. Somebody felt cheated, may have been both of you in the connection because we weren't, you know, on the same wavelength. The balance wasn't there between us. Uh, three of Pentacles, impatience, lack of direction, and feeling undervalued. Both of you ended up with that kind of feeling in the connection. Wow. Hold the energy on the deck. Okay, let's keep going here, guys. So, we're getting a little bit. It was just, we were not on the same page working on the same blueprint and having the same plan. You had yours and I had mine and we both couldn't uh, give on, on much to get in sync in that harmony with each other. Mm -hmm. mm. Next deck, I'm going to ask them... Um, Show me what's been going on with them since you last talked to them or seen them since the breakup, since the silence. What's been going on for them? What have they got themselves into? Let's see. Curious mind wants to know. See if they'll share something with us. What's been going on with them? How's life been treating you? Talk to us. Talk to us. I've got something here. Aries. We've got elope. Elope. They ran away. Uh -huh. Jump the gun on something. What else? Uh, Self-reflection on choices. Uh, they jumped the gun, made a hasty decision with someone else. They could have mm, rebounded into something. Yeah, completely done. Their, their self-reflection now is I'm completely done. Keep making bad choices. Not knowing what to do now. Uh-huh. Ew, self-reflection. Now, while they're self-reflecting and to escape some of what they're seeing, <laughs> what are they doing? Yes, they are on the phone. And it's, it's, it's insinuating, guys, that there is, they, they have connected with someone else. Like, I hate saying connected because I feel like they're, they don't feel connected, but the other person is feeling it. What else? Pain. Sitting in a lot of pain. Completely done. Yeah, they made some bad choices in the way they're avoiding having to uh, deal with the shadow side of their self. And what's being triggered is this. So, yeah. Ooh, what's on the bottom? Multiple sex partners, Aries, and consequences. And rebound. Rebound. Then other woman. Wow. Guys, so they, they, yeah, they got into a mess. Let's put it that way. Part of their avoidance, though, guys, I, and I, you know, let's give them some respect for the fact that their higher self will allow them to admit what they do to avoid the feelings and um, just escapism a little bit, just to distract their mind, the sexting with uh, someone or multiple someone's. Mm-hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's move to the next one. I'm going to ask them what their thoughts are about you and the connection you had together now. Now, what do they think about the connection? Now that you've had some silence and time apart, what are their thoughts about the connection now? This is for my Aries person. Aries, Aries. Oh, pop. Black sheep. Conform who individuate? Ow, they feel yeah, they feel like they're outcast. Yeah, that yeah, still feel like they don't fit in. They're, they oh, but I like seeing this, guys. <laughs> well, you may not, <laughs> but to me, it's a wake up call of realizing twin flame or soulmate. And let's think more of a twin flame, but it's the friction energy of the twin flame so this person does feel like you know they there's a lot that they've learned from you that they've took away from the connection but it's also showing the hidden undercurrent desire of i still feel like we should be together that we should yeah in bridge cross or burn they're not sure if there's um if they've burnt the bridge with you they're hoping there's a bridge there 
because they're haunted by the past and they're stuck in the past. Haunted house. Feeling is still feeling like they are just an, a disappointment to you, the outcast. Soul recognition coming in on the twin flame. So they're definitely feeling um, waking up to they know they've got an energetic heart connection with you. And manifest dreams and wishes. Yep. Yeah. Coming in on the bridge. They definitely want a way back. They want a way back. Is what am I hearing? Is there a way home now? Mm, is there a road home now? Because they would be talking about you. Coming, mm, want to come back home. Mm, you're that sense of home. <clears throat> Let's keep going, guys. Let's pull the next deck. And y'all forgive the throat thing. I have definitely got a cold that has set in. And I'm not, I'm not going to jinx myself and do self-prophecy and keep saying, oh, it's for the winter. No, no. Let's see. It'll be gone tomorrow. Just think positive. It'll be gone the next hour. With this deck, I'm going to ask your person to show me their desires and any plans of actions towards you right now. Let's see. Desires, their thoughts, desires. But any plan of action, what's going on? Discreet communication, secret texts. Ooh, guys. So they definitely want to communicate, and they may be trying to. If we haven't blocked them, they may be getting up the nerve to actually start messaging with us. Jokester energy, they're going to come across as playful, a little bit flirty, just to test the energy out. Mm-hmm. Joking around with us, just to see surface level <clears throat> no real conversation fun casual connection not sharing personal details casual surface level the jokester kind of energy and like i said they may just just come at us like an old you know old friend <laughs> just to test the water and see how that's going so that uh, that is an option they're they're holding in their mind independence freedom from control self-sufficient mm, hang on Reclusive, reclusive. Let's see what else is coming out. Dysfunction, dysfunction. Tunnel vision, closed mind, not considering others a viewpoint. Difficult to reason with. Okay, so not only on the discreet communication, this person is not going to tell you right away. They actually did get in a mess and get involved with someone else. And they don't know how to get out of that mess right now. They're just as confused about that one as they are anything else in their life right now they do want their freedom and independence and when they come across with a discreet converse you know trying to message you find gauge your energy see if there's still a bridge there they're going to come they're not going to tell you right away they're going to act like they're still you know they're free they didn't get involved with anyone but they are coming at us with the casualness and they are very yeah feeling like everything's in a chaotic and drama filled uh, highly unstable in everything right now and trying to figure it out uh, they are spending a lot of times uh withdrawing because like i said they've got their self into another another connection they don't really want to be in and they they're pulling back from a lot the tunnel vision they are worried <clears throat> that you want that you wouldn't even consider uh, just a casual surface level conversation with them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but plan of action is they're trying to figure out how to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. But to do it in a way that, you know, is not humili completely humiliating for them. Like, they're not going to come begging. But they do want to gauge the energy, see if you're open to even just, you know, Casual surface level kind of conversation. Yeah. Ow, Aries. Okay. Guys, let's go ahead and get them talking. Let's see what deck they would like to talk with. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hang on, guys. We're getting the butterflies. Somebody else got this deck. It's the shadow side. But we're also getting <clears throat> conversation with counterpart. The energy's still over the decks. Hold on. Where's, uh, okay. 
Yes, guys, everybody's person has picked this deck to talk with. I might as well leave it out for everyone <laughs> and quit putting it back. Let's see. But your person picked three decks. Other people's uh, only went with two. Well, your person got some stuff they want to say. Let's listen. Let's find out what it is. This is for my Aries person. We are open to it. We're not judgmental. We'll hear you. you joke around all you want. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Oh, they're not joking. Sorry, guys. They didn't come in with that jokester on this one. Wait for me. It's coming in passively. So, it means it's a question. Can we start over? I don't know if I can let you in. I don't. Mm, that would be like, I don't know how much to tell you about what's been going on with me. I watch you from a distance. I've been lying to myself and you. I feel so jealous over you. I will never give up on you. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. I'm still trying to figure out who I am. I feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how much I love you until it was too late. Wow. Let's do a last shuffle on this deck. Last shuffle. We got more. Is it really over? I feel so torn. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. Well, hold the energy on this deck. Let's get them on to their second deck here. This is for my Aries person. My Aries. Let's get that one more time. Aries, Aries, Aries. Yeah, talk to us. Mm. I want to begin again. Let's put the past behind us. I miss the way you hold me. I want harmony between us. Please don't give up on us now. I'll never give up on us. Never give up on you. Never give up on us. I'm trying to find out who I am. Every road leads back to you. It's passively, guys. So it means this question, is there a way home to you? Is there a way back? I didn't mean to let you go. I'm learning to trust again. I'm beginning to understand this connection. Last shuffle. Anything else? Anything else? Yes. I won't let my fears keep us apart. I'm making my way back to you. Your light is leading me home. You are home to me. Hold your ears on the deck. God, let's go ahead and let them close this off. This is for my Aries and their person. Aries person, close this off. What were you wanting to say with this deck? Bring it out for us. Bring it out. Aries, your pop. Mm, okay, hang on. Hold the energy. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. I have not given up on you, even though it may seem so. Ooh. I'm feeling emotionally void without you. And last one. Ooh, I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. It's the way you hold me. Aries, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Bless be.